Interior Design Show is one of the premier shows so many people love to attend. Brian Gluckstein now joins us live in the studio. So you're always mobbed when you go there. You oh, walk yeah. two steps, people want to talk to you, they want to get your advice, they want to see the installations with you, and they you're do. always so lovely. Well, I love people. You so do love people. I do love people. We love that about you. And at the show, I mean, it is where the world brings all the latest interiors. So it's from all over the world. Mm -hmm. All the product is unbelievable. And it's really the state-of-the-art stuff. So you went around and you said, okay, I'm going to pick a few items that I want to bring onto yes. CityLine, uh, your favorites. Yes. What have you brought us? Well, I brought from a company called Camouflage. Um, they're these incredible uh, mirrors and pieces Beautiful. of art, but these are radiators. Oh. So this one, you can see, this one is plugged in. You can use any image or you can use a solid paint color. You can give them the color of your wall. That's so amazing. this is actually going to a customer of theirs right after. Look at those kids. They're that unbelievable? so cute. So not only is it a family portrait, yeah. it warms the room. Those kids should go to Hollywood immediately. I know. I know. They're so like, adorable. Look at those them eyes. Right now. Look at those eyes. Gorgeous. And you can take a piece of art and they will transpose it into a heater. Nice. What's great also is for bathrooms, you can use a mirror and it heats. Okay. Great idea. Or in a front hall that's cool. Yeah. You know, where you have a vestibule that might be a little cool, that's your heater. So the radiators, I mean, they can be such They're an eyesore, warm. right? They can Absolutely. be such an eyesore if you don't have something like this to cover it up. So this becomes an intentional part of your design. Fantastic. And you can you can plug it into a regular plug, but sometimes we have plugs in the wall for television sets and things yeah. like that. So just plug it in there. They can be hardwired also. Very cool. And then this it doesn't sit like this, but it sits underneath the desk. You can see underneath here. Okay. And that heats up a desk. So oh. if you're sitting in this area, and let's say your desk is in front of a window yeah. where it's cool and there's a draft, you put that in and plug it in, and that warms up the whole area. Oh, that's very cool. So it cool. doesn't take up any floor space. Yeah. And all of these um, are radiant heat, so they use much less energy yeah. than an electric baseboard heater. Very cool. I need this in my bathroom floor. <laughs> That's what I need. Just sit it on you the know floor. that first that first visit to the John and Get it's this. like it's freezing. Get the mirror. That's what I need. Absolutely. So the camouflage desk heaters retail for just over two hundred dollars. We're going to draw for one after the show today. <laughs> that. Now these are just a showstopper. Yes. Well. It's, carpet it's, has it's become art. art. It's art for your floor. Carpet has become art, and there are many companies. This is from W Studios, and mm. W Studios not only has their own designs, but you can really work with them. And yeah. many carpet companies, when you're doing hand-tufted carpet, which is this, it's a handmade carpet, they're hand-tufted, so each fiber is hand-done. You can do any pattern, any color, because they're handmade. Yeah. But for economy, they can do printed also. So this is... Like, it's a, it's a carpet, but it's very thin, mm -hmm. and they can print any pattern on it. It's a fraction of the price of this. That's now, amazing. Now, we typically use this commercially when we do condominiums in the hallways. Right. Because you wouldn't do hand-tufted. And we, we take designs and have it printed. So they've decided to offer that to the, re the residential consumer also. That's very So if very you see smart. a great carpet you like, you can't afford that, they'll print it on a... A white field. And most people look at the art on the floor and they say, there's no way I could afford that. Now you can. Now you can. You can get a print. I think that's great. But that's great. a big trend, how art and flooring. That's beautiful. And segueing into art and flooring. Yes. There's a trend towards patterns. So don't all flip Freak out. Freak out. Don't flip out, everybody. It's happening. It's okay. But there is a trend towards patterned tiles. Yes. And this is sort of very European, beautiful tiles. I'll show you some of these. Look at how, how pretty these are. So you could use them in a That's kitchen, gorgeous. in a foyer. If you have a little vestibule, use yes. them in here on a backsplash. They're great. What's great about these is they look like, I mean, that's the 12 by 12. But these look like individual tiles. You just set them like big tiles. Right. Then we're looking that's at... That's personality right there, right? Very much so. And then from Europe, we're looking at color is becoming really popular again for backsplashes, showers, things like that. Can we oh. talk about this color spectrum right now? Know, like 1975 that. call. It's they want back. their tiles back. Yes, when it's we get back, like harvest yellow, you got some olive green I going know. on. Wow. When the oven matches this, I'm out. It's over. <laughs> I'm out. But you can get also get the tile, get... not the toilet. Yes, but you can. <laughs> Oh, you can also it. get it in white and gray and things like go. that. But this is the whole subway tile with the bevel. It's so fabulous. That's this is a beautiful. great look. Now, this is the latest thing. This is just taking over everywhere, all over the world. This is the latest thing. This is tile. And this looks like marble. Comes in so many different patterns. Nice. And it comes in sheets that are 10 feet by 
four feet, ah. 10 feet high by four feet. That's you can amazing. do floors, walls, anywhere. It's a fraction of the price of marble. Mm -hmm. It doesn't stain because it's made of porcelain. So if you did this on a countertop or you did this on shower walls wow. or a floor, look at that. Like you can't tell, I'm in the booth. Yes. And I'm like, okay, which is the porcelain and which, and is, which the is the marble? And it comes in all different ones in, in um, browns, grays, grains. And we're using this, we're using this in a condominium right now where there's a lot of traffic. Yeah. We're using it in elevators because of the weight, look how thin Ooh, yeah. it is. And we're gonna experiment that um, with countertops. We're gonna try this on countertops. Do it and let us know how it goes because this is going to be huge for people. Um, uh, what I was gonna ask you is about the veining. Cause if you do tiles that are only this size, don't you have to match up all the veining? It's well, good that they have the big Huge. Place. And what's interesting you is so it looks it. real. Yeah. They have maybe six different veins patterns so you can book match them like real ah, marble smart. and in a shower just imagine each wall is one piece no grout yes nothing no That's mold so no grout but easy to clean so easy to clean where's so, this all uh, come from this you know? is from floors first floors first okay really good to know